why are you home at this time? Why is there so much food? It's enough to feed an army. And who made you carry all that? Come on. Anyway, I'm on a business call. But I always keep the fridge full. Uh-huh. Age of Love. Anyway, I don't think it's a good idea. What kind of health center is it? We're just throwing money away. No, 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 Olga. I believe that health is the most valuable thing in the world. Nothing like it. More valuable than any money. You can either take care of yourself and spend money on your health, or you'll end up spending it on medicine. Are you listening? You tried going to work with a cold, see what that's like. Come on, it'll be fine. So go ahead and just relax. Take it easy, freshen up. You've been neglecting yourself. I mean, have you looked in the mirror lately? Huh? You've got circles under your eyes like a panda. Hmm. Max. Will you at least go to the station with me? Oh, I don't know, Olga. I don't think so. I'm busy. Hmm. Olga, you can call a taxi. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, you guys are still home? I'm only halfway here, almost hey. out the door. Shh, hey. Come here. I need you to help your mom pack and help her to get a taxi and don't wait up tonight. I'm gonna be home late. <laughs> be a good girl, okay? <laughs> Bye. See ya, honey. Max, please talk to your daughter. Right. Make sure she's studying. She needs to improve her grades. And don't make that face at me. Olga, stop scolding the child. Bad grades? It's not a problem. She doesn't need good grades to find mm -hmm. a husband. Right? Here you go. Will do. <clears throat> uh, I think I forgot to say something. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. Feel better. And oh. do me a favor and lose the panda look, <laughs> please. They say the health center's great. It's the very best. Okay. Right, I've got to go. I'm already late. Mm -hmm. See you later, girls. Okay. Bye. Mom. Is this house on a rehab or what? What do you mean, rehab? It's just a place to rest, and it's away from the city. <sighs> Which is the best part. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you waiting for? I was just talking to the lady here. Oh, hello. Hi. You'll be late for dinner, gentlemen. Oh, yeah, dinner. Hm. Your passport, please. Here's your daily schedule. Come on. Come on. Patients must follow it. Good, I'll keep that in mind. This isn't a rest house or a hotel, but a medical facility. I hope you understand the difference. Of course. That's great. Here's the key. Mm -hmm. The room is on the fourth floor. Please enjoy your stay. Uh, the trip was fine. The room is nice and it's warm. <laughs> I'll send you a picture. And how are you doing? How's school? Everything is fine. School is good and Dad says hello. Well, tell your father I say hello, too. And please make sure he doesn't starve. Okay, Mom, don't worry about it. Hey, Lena's here right now, so I can't talk. Take care and try to rest. Bye. Goodbye. Love you. Does it look okay? How can you call his hair? Pneumonia is common, but it must be treated seriously. Otherwise, relapses will occur. That's exactly why I came here, Doctor. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. And you'll be fine. Have a seat, please. All right. Put this on. 
In 15 minutes, a nurse will come and take it off. Mm -hmm. Igor, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Igor, listen, you have 10 more minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Igor, stop, seriously. What? Please don't look at me while I'm wearing this, or else I'll suffocate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Olga. It's just that I didn't mean to do that. I won't do it again. But how do you... Oh. But how do you know my name? What do you mean, how? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's breathe. Yeah, yeah, let's breathe. You forgot to put on the mask. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, come on, it's uncomfortable. What? Uh, hold on. Well, actually, I don't really need this, just for the sake of it. You know, since I've been here, I'm just taking advantage of it. Have you been here for a long time? Uh, well, yeah, I've been here, uh, about three days now. You know, I had some vacation days left. Mm-hmm. And my boss, he said, go get the last minute deal while it's still on. Take my son with me and go. We could just go skiing. Mm. So I agreed. Yeah, but it turned out my son couldn't go. School had started, and he couldn't come. So then a buddy of mine from the army, he came, and he said, oh, we'll play tennis and chess. So that's how I ended up here. I see. Yeah. Oh, and you? I'm recovering from pneumonia. Oh, I, I see. I thought it would be fine without treatment, but I was wrong. Why did you take off the masks? Please put them back on. So have you met the lovely lady yet? Yeah, we were getting the same treatment. Well, I guess I shouldn't have turned down the treatments. At least there's one decent woman in this godforsaken place. Yeah, so what? We could share her. All right. Stop that. I'll be right back. All right, stop, Pasha. I'm gonna say hello. Pasha, where are you going? Wait, Pasha! <clears throat> Good evening. I'm sorry to bother you, miss, but my friend and I both agreed that we must invite a beautiful lady such as yourself to join us at our table for dinner. Thank you for the compliment and for the invitation, but I think I'll pass. All right. Well, let me introduce myself. I'm Pasha, I'm a professional photographer. And what's your name? Solovieva Olga Sergeyevna. 
Thank you for such a formal introduction. Very pleased to meet you. So then your initials are SOS for short. Save our souls? I think I might need mine to be saved. But we'll talk about it when we have our photo shoot. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. We'll meet again tomorrow, all right? Sound good? Have a good night. Can you sign here, please? Don't use your skis inside. Make sure you keep off the balcony. Oh, and we close at five today, so please be ready to return your equipment. Okay, thanks. You're very welcome. Hey, Olga. You heading out? Oh, hey. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, giving it a try. Haven't been I on see. skis for years. Uh, yeah. But there's nothing else to do here. Oh, let me help you. So I... Uh, is this okay? Yeah, it's good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sure you'll have fun. I'd really love to join you sometime. Let's do it. It's much more fun to ski with someone. Ah, uh, but I can't. Leaving on bus in an hour. Already? You've only been here four days. I have to. Lots of work. They asked me to come back urgently. I see. It always seems to be about work. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see they're calling me. Gotta go. I'm just gonna grab my passport and leave. It's unfortunate, it's such a short trip. It's a pity. Even so, Olga, I'm really glad I met you. Me too. Have fun out there. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Are you going to the station? Yeah, yeah, to the station. Sure. Get in. Maybe it's better this way. You need some help? I could do it myself. You don't need to help. Well, the bus is in 45 minutes. I hope I make it. Eh, don't worry. It's just a 10 minute drive. Yeah. Somebody help me! Did you hear someone scream? What's that? No way. Help! Anybody! Someone's definitely screaming. Wait here. Somebody! Help! Olga! Olga! Oh! oh my gosh. What happened? Well, I was skiing just fine. I was going downhill. It seemed that I got caught on something and I fell down. Calm down. Does it hurt? Yes. Can you stand up? I wanted to stand up, but I couldn't. I thought I was gonna freeze to death here. No, you're not gonna freeze. We'll get you out of here. Hey, give me your hand. Come on. Give me your hand, I'll help. Let's go. Okay. Ah. How is it? Well, take it easy. Just rest for a little bit. You okay? I think it's a fracture. Well, we'll find out. Here. Uh -huh. Can you move it? Yes. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Maybe it's a sprain. Okay. We will get you out of here. How? This way. <sighs> Hold on. I will. Tighter. But I'll break your neck. No, you won't. I got you. I'm holding on. Come on. Let's go. Uh, uh. Here we go. It hurts less now. Uh, there, there now. We'll be there soon. No problem. 
When did we become so close? Ah, <sighs> uh, forgive me, Helga. Sorry about that. I didn't notice. Don't apologize. I should be apologizing. You missed your bus because of me. Nonsense. I can leave tomorrow. By that time, we'll get to know each other. Oh, you agree? Yeah. My savior. <laughs> what is this? Uh, oh, just a tourist. Let's go. Get in. Can you move get back in. a little? Carefully. Yes, I can. Okay. Let's go. Uh, careful. Don't move that much. Move your back, huh? Uh, <sighs> Take it easy. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's go back to the health center. The health center? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Here we are. It's just a twist, Igor, and that's all. It doesn't even hurt. All right. Well, just lay down and rest. And I'll go get your dinner. I'm your nanny for today. Whether you like it or not, so you better be a good patient. Do you hear me? Thanks a lot. No problem. I can't imagine what I would have done without you. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, at home I take care of everyone. Oh. I mean, of my daughter. Well, it was meant to be then. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go get some food before it's too late. Do you want some tea or coffee? Tea. Uh, uh with sugar? Without. Got it. Uh-huh. Uh, Michaela, hey, how are you? No, I'm fine. Listen, there's a thing. Look, something happened over here. There's snow everywhere. You can't drive any cars. I can't get out. Hmm. Yeah, it's awful. I don't know. I don't... I don't think I can make it. You might have to do without me. But Michaela, what can I do? There, there are no cross-country vehicles. What if I find... No. Okay, call me next time. Yeah, call me. Yeah, of course. Don't be mad. As I told you, it's nothing serious. But be careful next time you go skiing, Olga. Uh, do you like flowers? Yes, my whole apartment is filled with flowers. I see. Uh, well, I like fishing. Oh, I said I like fishing. Wow, how funny. <laughs> yeah, look at him down there. Why does it have such a huge head? It's tropical fish. Hmm. Igor, what do people do around here? Besides the treatments. Uh, I've been here for three days now. I already read a book. I don't like TV. I didn't bring anything to knit. I went skiing. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, billiards. Do you play billiards? No. Oh, you're in luck. I am the world's best billiards teacher. Yeah? Yeah. All right, then. I would love to learn. Hello. <laughs> Look at the nice couple. Oh, hey, Pasha. Uh, yeah, we'll get started after dinner. Sound good? All right, then. Great. Are you bored? I can show no. you a trick. Ho, ho, ho. Hoppa. <laughs> I saw it in your other hand. <laughs> Come on. I can show you another one. Huh? Okay, I'll go check in with Peter. Can I go with you? No, no, no. Thanks. I got it. Yeah? How is it possible that she can look even sexier now that she has a limp? Pasha, come on, seriously. You cannot go after every woman you meet. Yeah? Yeah. Or maybe they all go after me. How do you know? Come on, Casanova. Let's go play some cards. All right, then. Uh, 
Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, but wait. Sideways. Look, it's simple. <clears throat> it's not that complicated. Just give it to me. You take the cue, you aim it at the ball, and you hit it right there in the center. You need a firm grip right there in the center. Okay? Almost there. Oh, what happened? Oh, almost there. More importantly, you are learning. Mm -hmm. And that's good. Oh. It looks like you two are having a nice time. <clears throat> and your leg seems to be feeling better. Listen, uh, what's the problem? Hmm. I don't understand. Don't you work here? So just go ahead and do your job. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But remember, the billiard room closes in half an hour. Ah, we know that. Thank you. I don't understand why she's like that. Yeah. She was rude to me from the very beginning. Why? Olga, don't pay attention. The thing is that her husband used to work here at the health center. So what? So look, this is how you stand. You see? With your feet grounded. Mm -hmm. So, what you want to do is square your hips up and focus on the ball. Then you align your shot and so long. You see? So, her husband left her for another woman after the treatment. And now Jeannie sees all young women as her personal enemies. Oh, I get it now. So, hands, legs, hair, not in the way? No. All right, go on then. Ooh! Wow. Two. <laughs> One week of practice and you'll be making good money. Yes. Well done. <gasps> Time for wine. <laughs> Ooh. What are we toasting to? <laughs> uh, to our future champion. Okay. Olga, Olga, excuse me, good morning, how are you? What a lucky encounter. I was just going out to breathe in the open air and take a look around. But I haven't forgot about our private photo shoot, so I think we should get ready and get dressed and go. Is Igor coming too? No, Igor's not coming. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. Why not? You're friends, if we're doing this, let's do it together. Listen, that lead weight doesn't want to go anywhere, no need to ask him. So why do we need a third wheel? Hmm? Pasha. No offense. Let's do it another time, okay? Another time. Okay. She's such a prude. What are you saying? She just ran off with him? That's amazing. Hey, good afternoon. Hello, hello. Have a good walk. And don't let your man freeze to death. He's been waiting a while. Yeah, you don't want him to get sick. Give me a couple of those books, the really thick ones. Thanks. I'll take this one. It's uh, small and convenient. See you later. Sure thing. How old is she? Oh, that awkward age, which is the hardest. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, it scares me sometimes. <laughs> but sometimes it's like we're friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my phone. Oh, hey, Sasha. Hey, what's up? Oh, you, yeah. Oh, you passed the fifth level? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, everything is stored on the server. Yeah, look at the menu. Yeah, there's a special section. Well, if you can't find it, just give me a call and I'll help you. Anyway, yeah, how's it? Hello? Uh, kids. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't seem to communicate <laughs> either. How old is he? He's 10. He's a computer genius with games, and he climbs into this tank, and you just can't hear anything. <sighs> it is so beautiful here. I could just stay here forever. We 
probably shouldn't have done this, Igor. Olga, we're adults. I mean, can't you see... Can't you see how I feel for you? How much I like you? I mean, I think about you all the time. During the day. During treatments all the time. What can I do? And I think about you more than I'd like to. That's great. Please don't. But why? Because it's not good. It's just a holiday romance. How are we going to feel when we go back home? For me, it's not a holiday romance. Tell me, do you love your husband? It doesn't matter. Then what does matter? My family, my daughter, 14 years of life with Max, and your life too. Please don't do this, Igor. Listen, Olga, everyone has the right to love. How can you be sure that this is love? It's just something you know, and I know. I need to be alone. Wait. Don't follow me, please. Wait, Olga, please. Come on, Jeannie. Uh, I mean, we're talking about adults here, married and responsible and... You don't think that... Oh, Luba, what do you think? I saw the two of them hugging. Men are pigs. Okay, sure, what can you expect from them? But this woman, she's smart. She looks like she's a decent woman, but she behaves like a complete slut. <sighs> oh yeah, I know what you mean. They're all like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Can I have my room key, please? Hmm. You didn't leave your key up here. I left it on your desk when I went out earlier today. Go on, mm -hmm. Luba, go. See you later. If you left it, then it would be right here somewhere. Maybe you forgot it in another room? Hmm? How would I know? Maybe you left it in someone else's room. Try looking. You can't keep talking to me like that, okay? Give me the room key or call your supervisor. If you really lost the key to your room, then we're going to have to change the locks. And it will be at your own expense, I'll have you know. And those things aren't cheap. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Here you are. A duplicate for the time being. I hope you'll have this one for at least a week. Good night. Good night to you. Hmm. Igor, go away. I'll see you tomorrow. Just a few words and then I'll leave. Olga. Crazy? Do you want to die? <laughs> yeah, I barely made it up here. Can I come in? These flowers are gonna freeze. It would be a shame. Oh, come in. Why did you take those? Aren't you ashamed? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not ashamed. You were really upset, and I wanted to surprise you. At first, I wanted to pick a whole bouquet for you, but I changed my mind. Here, you love flowers. You're like a child. Olga, tell me, what happened? <sighs> what happened? What happened? Enough already. Enough what? Igor, we took it too far. People are talking. Starting tomorrow, we'll stay away from each other. Okay. I get it now. I'm sorry about barging in here. 
Here. Good night. Where are you going? Go through the door. No, it's better if I go out the way I came in. Or someone will see me. Okay, good night. What do you mean? Igor, wait! Wait! What? Stop. Have you lost your mind? we done? What are we going to do? About what? Olga. Tell me what's wrong. Listen, why are you ashamed? We love each other, don't we? Just tell me what's wrong with that. Olga. What? How are we going to live after this? How are we gonna live? Together and happy? Today is the best night of my life with the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> I want to understand what's happening to her. <laughs> I think she's lost her mind. <laughs> Pasha found your keys and wants to have a little fun. Olga. Don't be such a prude. Hello. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing here? <laughs> Pasha, are you crazy? <laughs> what a sweet couple. A prude and a hypocrite. She kept refusing me. <laughs> Pasha, you are drunk out of your mind. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm drunk. Maybe a little. But I'm not a bastard. I'm not a traitor, and you, is your wife aware Pasha, of your adventures? Pasha, one more word and I will kick your ass. Yeah, well, I was promised a photo shoot, so I'm gonna get Don't a photo shoot now. Get hey. out of here! Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get come out of here! Go to hell! Hey! Oh. oh, now it's on. Come here! Here. Now let's see what all the noise is about. What are you doing? What's hey, hey! Here? Out Stop this right now or I'll call the police. You two, get out! Call the police you right two now! Hey. Get out! Oh. Help! Oh. Get out! Okay, okay. Don't shoot, okay? And you, Solovyova, I have no words for you! I can't Just believe shut up. you. Just get you him out of be here. Ashamed. This is shut ridiculous. Up right now. She lost the keys, right? Listen, that is enough! And you, Matveyev, don't tell me what to do. Screwed, you are in no man. position to do so. At least zip up your pants first. It's the least you can do. This is not a brothel. All right. Get out of here. That's more than enough. All right, get I'm out. leaving Move. now. now. Piss off. The health center. Yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> Leave the room. All right, Just get I need out my of drinks. here. Move now. Bastard. What's the matter? So? You got your visiting hours mixed up? You are you are such a Yeah, I am. A little Yeah, I am. With, with yeah, hair you're in no position to judge. That That's is enough. enough. We'll discuss this tomorrow. Yeah, get out. Come on. So, all right, everyone. Back to your rooms. She is crazy. <laughs> Olga, are you okay? My God, how awful. How horrible. <laughs> Olga, everything is going to be fine. Go away, I beg you, please. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> What am I going to do now?
Relax, it's me. What are you doing? Olga. Did you buy your ticket already? Uh, mm, I have. Cool. What are, what are you doing here? I came from the health center. I'm going home too. All right, I'm gonna go check the schedule now. Hey, can you watch my stuff? My bus leaves after yours. I'll see you off, Olga. Hmm. It's funny, isn't it? This dance station is the only place in the world where nobody knows us and we can hide from everyone. Yeah. So romantic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to leave you, Olga. This is how I'd spend the rest of my life. I want us to be together. You hear me? I want you to know that I love you. A lot. You too, Igor. Well? But you understand this is impossible. We don't even live in the same city. We have our families to go back to. It'll never That's work. That's all nonsense. We love each other. That's what's important. And we'll deal. How do we deal with it, Igor? How do we deal with it? It's impossible. Hush. Olga, shh. Give me some time to think about it. I'll come up with something, all right? My dear, would your husband please help me carry these bags to the bus? I'm taking some jam to my grandchildren and it's heavy. Do you mind, sweetheart? No. Oh, you dropped a mitten. Thank you, thank you so much. And so where do you want it? Thank you. Thank you too, dear. Good luck to you. Thank you. Husband. So we're doing what we talked about, just like we Ready planned. Ready to go? Yes. Yeah, just a moment. Yes, I'll do what you say. Honey, it's just a few days and we'll be together. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Have a good journey. Good afternoon. Hello. Mom! Thank God you're back, Mom! What happened? Mom, Dad got sick last night. He had a problem with his heart. I called an ambulance. He says it's a heart attack. I was so afraid, Mom. Why didn't you answer the phone? Oh, my dear sweet child. Calm down. Oh, my. Dad will recover. Did you make sure to write down the hospital's phone number? He was alone, Mom! What if he died? Calm down. Dad will recover. Did you write down the hospital phone number? Did you write it down? I wrote everything down. I beg you, let's go, please. Go. Let's go. Get ready. Oh, where's my phone? I want to get a new Sasha! One. Hey, Dad! Sasha! Ha <laughs> oh, you're so sweet here. <sighs> this is for you. Awesome. I hope you like it. I missed you so much, Dad. Yeah, me too. Hey, where's your mother? She went to my aunt's house again. Ah. She told me to just walk home myself. Let's we'll see. What did the doctor say? Listen, the worst is over. The doctor says that he'll be out soon. <sighs> Mom, hmm. I just, 
I just realized how much I love my father. And both dad and I love you too. Never forget that, hmm? He asleep? Yeah, asleep. Just as it was time to go to bed, we had a fight. This is what I've been dealing with while you were relaxing at the resort. Marina, maybe you should be reading him books instead of your magazines. By the way, your son has two bad grades. One in math and one in science. Just at the end of the term. It's good that you came back. There are so many things that we still have to do. Don't forget to take the car to the shop. I got into a fender bender. Mm, okay. I'll drop it off before work. Mm -hmm. Just leave the keys. Marina, hmm. I have to talk to you about something. Well, then go on, talk to me. What, is anything wrong? Yeah, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I... Well, I... I fell in love with another woman. <laughs> and it's pretty serious. Congratulations. And who on earth won this golden ticket? <laughs> uh. Well, we met at the health center, and uh, she lives in another city. Yeah. <laughs> I see. She must be sick to fall for you. Enough, Marina. I'm leaving you. You always say that we don't have a family but a parody of a marriage. So I'm leaving the apartment and the car to you, and an alimony, of course. Wow. What generosity. Marina... Could you please finish your manicure some other time? I am trying to have a serious talk with you. I wish you were dead, bastard. Marina. Marina, listen. My mother warned me that you'll never be anything more than an engineer. Hey, Marina. And I didn't listen to her. You'll go on working at this hydroelectric power plant for pennies until you retire. And as if that's not bad enough, he finds another woman. Well, that's great. Take your stuff and get the hell out of here. Be quiet or you'll wake Sasha. If you care about your son yeah. so much, then why are you abandoning him? I am not abandoning Sasha. I'm just divorcing you. I mean, we've been strangers to each other for huh? years. Do you even know what real love is, Marina? Do you? I'm shocked. You're even talking about real love. <laughs> well, I don't know. Buy a new one. No, no, but I can't. What do you want me to do? Just order it on the internet? Pay with the credit card? I'll just give you the money later, okay? <laughs> That's funny. What do you mean? I won't give it back. <clears throat> uh, good. No, I'm gonna order it myself. Yes, with the expedited delivery. No, no, don't visit me here. The wife is already coming and she'll bring everything. Don't worry. Right, right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Who were you talking with? Marat. Marat called. Mm. <clears throat> you should have passed me the phone to say hello. Uh, yeah, I should have. I didn't realize it. Next time. Sorry. I have to go to work tomorrow, so I'll come in the evening. Is that okay? Sure, come in the evening. Do you want me to make some pork tomorrow or some chicken? 
Oh, I don't want anything boiled, steamed, without salt. I'm sick of this food. What can you do? You have to eat. <sighs> I have, but I can't anymore. Hello. Hello. Well, EKG was done in the morning. The results are looking good. We like what we see. I think on Friday he can go home. On Friday? Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. Oh, Doc. Well, you know what? We'll drive the car on Friday so that I won't have to call a taxi. I mean, I am sick after all. Huh? Okay? Okay? Sure. Okay. I'll leave work earlier. Leave work earlier. You can leave earlier for your husband. I can't just sit here. I gotta get out. Okay, right. hurry up. Feel Come better. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Ah. Marina, why don't you answer your phone? Marina! Do you have something to say? Why did you change the locks? I can't get into the house. Not your house anymore. Okay, but my clothes are still in there. I have to pick them up. And I want to talk to Sasha. Explain everything to him. Sasha is at my parents' house. Until you leave the city, he'll stay with them. Come get your clothes tomorrow at 10. Uh, As long as Max is recovering, I can't tell him anything. It's too cruel to do that right now. But you didn't change your mind, did you? Mm-mm. But the situation has changed. Our situation hasn't changed. I love you, and I'll see you soon. I miss you so much. Hello, yes. Well, I understand. Please just tell us when we can expect you. to meet so close to my house. Olga, well, does it matter now? Close or far? Well, all right. The main thing is we're together. What? <laughs> well, you'll see soon enough. Mysteries again. Just promise you won't look. <laughs> so don't look. Don't look and be careful. Careful! Okay. <laughs> Let me close the door. Okay, come on, come on. Careful, careful, careful. Turn here and welcome to my modest, lonely apartment. All right, there we go. Oh. Take a look. Did you rent an apartment? Mm-hmm. That's my building. Yeah. <laughs> I specifically looked for an apartment nearby. It's a pity your windows are on the other side. So what, Igor? Were you trying to spy on me? Are you keeping secrets from me? No. Are you keeping secrets from me? <laughs> now we're neighbors. Yeah, you can't just come right up, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, do you understand? This is now our apartment, and I haven't bought dishes yet, so there's some glasses in the kitchen. So should we order champagne right now, or wait till later? Wait, Igor, I gotta go home. Oh, my love, I've missed you so much. You can't even imagine. It's so nice to be home. So I had to go to the hospital just so I could understand how much I miss home. <sighs> Olga, can you give me a cup of tea, please? And maybe I also have to go to that health center. I mean, did you like it there? <clears throat> well, yes. Then maybe I'll go too. I don't think it'll suit you. Well, why not? Well, 
It's for respiratory diseases, not cardiovascular. Do you want me to look for one online? Come on, I'm not going to any health center. Murad invited me to the country for the weekend, and I'm going to visit him. I'll go with you, Dad. Oh. We'll see when the time comes. Nadia, are you going to school today? Seriously, Dad? It's Friday. There's only two classes left. Come on. Okay, don't go. Yes, love you, Dad. Yeah, I love you, too. Mm. What do you mean, don't go? She's already mm. skipped three <laughs> classes. Get ready and go to school. But, Dad... Mm. Come on, go to school. <laughs> okay, I'll go. You totally spoil her. Oh, Here. thank you. <sighs> okay, I need to hurry up. Don't forget to take the pills. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I'll call you anyway, because you'll forget. Thank you, my caretaker. You're a real wife. Everyone should be so lucky to have one like you. Okay. Mm. We have to go. <sighs> hey! Give me that. Don't be nosy. Curiosity killed the cat. The cat what cat? Who is it? Um, <clears throat> it's a co-worker. What's your co-worker texting? Uh, asking me when I'm going to arrive at work. Nadia, listen. I need you to look after your dad. I'm working late tonight. Of course. Mom, is everything okay? Yes, why? Well, you seem different, like you're hiding something. I mean, you're acting strange and nervous, and you've been late everywhere you go. I don't know. I didn't notice. Mom, you haven't even asked me how I'm doing in school. Nadia. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Really, I've been so busy lately. Why? Do you have problems at school? No, Mom. Everything is okay. Hey, Mom, can you please stop and buy me some water? I'm really thirsty. Of course. Big carbonated, please. A half liter? Yeah. I'll see you later tonight. Of course she's busy. I thought that beds were just a mattress and whatever else that is. Okay, I get it. Would you like to buy one? I do, I do. Will you be paying with a credit card? Yes, credit card. And what would you like me to choose for the delivery method? You can select the delivery method on the website. <laughs> Igor! Olga! I'm here. Aren't you cold? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I had to give my daughter a lift. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. Let's go. Where are we going? You'll find out. Another surprise? Mm-hmm. on my mother who found a new lover. N Nadia! Nadia! Wait! Listen, Nadia. Igor and I are in love with each other, and we want to get married. Stop saying that, Igor and I, Igor and I. I don't care about this guy, Igor. Did you ever stop to think about us? About me or about Dad? I mean, how could you do that to him, Mom? When you know he's been working late. Nadia, Dad is a strong man. He'll be all right. You know he has a bad heart. Do you want him to drop dead? So I won't say anything to him until he is fully recovered. Nadia. 
I don't want you to divorce Daddy, hear me? I understand. Mm. Nadia, you need to understand. <laughs> Whatever happens, you will always be the most important person in my life. Do you hear me? Hmm? Mom. Well, if you can't stop seeing this Igor of yours, then just meet him secretly. I won't tell him what I promise. And when you get bored, then you can just leave him, and everything will be back to normal. <laughs> You're funny. Soon you'll realize that you can't live a lie. You see, this isn't right for either Dad or Igor. We must live with the ones we love, otherwise it's not living, it's torture. Are you serious? So Dad and I are torture? Wow, Mom. I hate you. Nadia. Nadia! What do you want? I wish you were more mature and remembered your dad just had a heart attack. Don't worry, I won't tell him. Unlike you, I love Daddy. Lower your voice, please. I don't want to talk to you at all. For me, you are no longer... Hello, what's going on? Well, why are you both so quiet? Huh? Oh, such kind-hearted faces on the both of you. What's going on here? Oh, nothing. nothing. Well, what is it? Are you keeping secrets from me? Why would we keep secrets, Max? <laughs> We're just talking. About love, right, Mom? Oh, all right, all right. I just want to tell you I'm going to the country on Saturday with Marat. I'll be back on Sunday. Of course, go. I think fresh air will be good for you. Yeah, I think so. But what about us, Dad? Well, maybe next time, sweetie. We'll all go together. This time it's going to be only men, adult conversations, and actually... Did you forget that you can't drink? Well, who am I? My own worst enemy or what? Okay. Keep having your conversation about your love. And you think that's okay? You see, I tried to talk to her, like an adult. Mm -hmm. I thought she would understand me. But she's convinced that this is all my fault. And that at my age, I shouldn't even be thinking about things like love. <laughs> and how are things with Sasha? It's the same thing. His cell phone's turned off. I asked my neighbor to go to his school see how he's doing and check up on him. He's doing okay. He's just sad. <sighs> I don't know. What don't you know? Uh, perhaps we are making a big mistake, Igor. For some reason, our love only makes things worse. You see, in this situation, everyone thinks about themselves. And no one thinks about us, about our feelings. But this is our lives, and I won't let anyone ruin it for us. So far, we are the ones who ruined it. Olga. I wouldn't be able to go back to my old life even... even if you didn't love me. Can't you see that? You can live without love when you don't know it exists. But when you do love someone, then it's impossible. It is difficult for us but we knew what we were getting into. It's just that when you're around, I feel the same way you do. Well, yeah. But when you're not, I just, I just start to feel guilty. Come on, just stop punishing yourself. We didn't do anything wrong. Sasha and Nadia, they'll grow up and they will understand. You think so? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> How are things with work? Hmm? They're fine. I have a meeting tomorrow. Hmm. And engineers are needed everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Good. No. Nadia! Turn the music down! It's late already. The neighbors are going to complain. Can you hear me? Ugh, can you 
you just do what I say? <gasps> what is this? What is this? Nadia, wake up! Nadia! <gasps> what happened to you? Nadia! Oh, dear Lord, what happened to you? My baby! Oh, oh, okay, stay calm, stay calm! Oh, oh God! My poor baby! Hello? Hello? I need an ambulance! My daughter just overdosed! Did you read it already? Look at this one. We've read this one before. Turn the page. Look at this second one. Mom, what did Dad say? Did you see him? When is he coming back? Mother, let me talk to Sasha alone. <sighs> Sasha, <clears throat> is it okay if I talk to you as an adult? All right? Okay. Um, uh, Dad mm, doesn't want to see you anymore. And he's going to live with another woman. Dad won't live with us anymore. Why didn't he say anything to me? What are we going to do? I love you very much, my angel. We'll get through this. That's all. Now just get some rest. Well, thank God everything's okay. Uh, we caught it in time. No need to take her to the hospital. Let her stay at home. Just keep an eye on her. Okay, thank you. May I talk to you? Yes. Uh, you see, I'm obliged by law to put all minors attempting suicide in a psychiatric register. Oh, I understand. You misunderstood me. I'm not talking about money, but about possible consequences. You really need to get to the bottom of this to understand what happened. Keep it from happening again. Yes. Happening again? Keep what from happening again? Hello. Nadia, excuse me. Uh. Nadia. Doctor, I'm the girl's father. What happened? You see, there was an attempt of suicide by overdose. Fortunately, we caught it in time. A suicide? Max, I'm, I'll explain everything to you. I'll leave you a phone number for a psychologist who specializes in these situations. Okay? Okay. In such situations, a professional is required. Feel better. Be a good girl. Understand? I do. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nadia, did you lose your mind? Why don't you ask Mom? Max, please go away. I need to talk to Nadia alone. What? Have you gone crazy or what? What do you mean, go away? You want to talk alone? Am I not allowed to know what happened to my daughter? Nadia, are you pregnant? Dad. Maxim. All right. But I'm telling you, don't even think of lying to me. Do not lie to me, Olga. Is this my fault? And if I promise to do what you want, do you promise nothing like this will ever happen again? So then we agree. Let's not lie to Dad. We will tell him the whole truth. I can't take it. I can't understand any of this. It's my fault, Maxim. I understand. Hit me if it makes it easier. I didn't think that she... I didn't know. I didn't know? I didn't think? Do you even think about anything or anyone except yourself? Huh? Forgive me. I never imagined that Nadia would do such a thing. And I never imagined that you were capable of doing something like this. Huh? Tell me, what am I supposed to do now, Olga? What am I supposed to do now? How should I look at you, huh? What should I do now? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Well, me neither. We're here. 
And where the hell is this? It's where you asked. Here, the GPS shows we're in the right place. 32 Savasina. What is this place? Come on! I'm looking for a bowling alley, brother. I don't care what your GPS says. But is this the correct address? I don't care about the address. It's a bowling alley where we're having our corporate party. I can't walk around here just like this. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead, get back in. We'll keep driving. We'll find your bowling alley. <laughs> Does your GPS show you where dumb people are? I'm sorry, sir. The doctor said she was lucky. But what if she wasn't? Or I arrived an hour later. We have to figure out what the best thing to do is now. No, we don't. Igor, well, you can't always hide your head in the sand. You know what's going on perfectly. I know what's going on, too. Let's not lie to each other. I have to talk to her myself. About what? When you're older, you'll understand? And what if she never gets to grow up at all? I get it, Olga. She's a child. One day she will. I'm sorry. Please, Igor. I know I'm to blame for everything. I'm to blame for everything. You keep on saying, love, love, love. I lived without this love for years. I did. And now I can't live Olga, without it. Olga, will can't. you listen to me for once in your life? No, I won't listen anymore. Please! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I left Igor. It's over. Mom. I love you so much. I know it's hard for you. But it will all go away. I suffered for a month when I broke up with my boyfriend. But now I don't remember him. I hope it only takes a month. Mom, now everything is back to normal. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm going to Lena's. That's good. Back to normal. As long as you're okay, Nadia. Everything looks fine. Well, I have to say, it really is a shame to lose such a great tenant. You will find another one, I'm sure. They told me that you're going away. I've heard that you're going to Moscow for a very long time. No one needs me here, as it turns out. Good luck with the tenants. Well, I have a train. Good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. Is everything okay? How are you feeling? It's so hard. I can't even eat it. Well, I... I can't imagine why. Come on, I'll give you another piece. I don't want any more. I'm full. You forgot how to cook or what? Or maybe you are poisoning us. Deliberately. I only forgave you regarding Nadia. But you still have to earn my forgiveness. Sasha! See you later. Sasha! Sasha, wait! Hey, why are you running away from me? What happened? I don't understand. Just get out of here. My mother and I are fine without you. Wait, wait! Is that how you talk to your father, Sasha? You're not my father anymore, and I don't want to see you. Sasha! You're a traitor!
Well, look who it is. What are you doing here? Hi. Well then, what's up? Hmm? Not having any luck with the ladies in Moscow? Are you a beggar now? Listen, Marina, I don't want to fight with you. I just want to talk about mm -hmm. Sasha. I saw him today. You did a real number on him, and he doesn't even want to see me anymore. No. N nobody did a number on him. Sasha understands everything perfectly. Well, in any case, before you and I go to court, just give me the opportunity to communicate with my son. Well, tell me, what's in it for me if I help you, Igor? All right. What do you want? Well... Give me the country house. But I was gonna live there, Marina. I have nowhere else to go. And also, that's my parents' house. My family memory. So what? In the end, their grandson will inherit it anyway. Choose what you prefer. A relationship with your son or the country house. Hey, Pasha. Hello, listen. Look, I'm in trouble. Can I come see you? No, I'm, I'm not gonna fight with you. Listen, I promise, and I'm right by the house. Okay, thank you. I'm on my way over. Why are you so quiet? You didn't come here to be quiet. You know, Pasha, I just became so indifferent to everything, some. It's like something inside me died. Something died inside you? Mm-hmm. That's stupid. No woman is worth that, you hear me? Let's drink. Basha, I don't even want to talk about this. Well, I'm glad that Mikhailich hired you back, really. I'm glad, congratulations. Mm. You're much better than this new manager. I think that Mikhailich will lecture you for a month and then it'll be just like it used to be. And Olga, what's up? Why aren't you talking? Pasha, what did I just say? Huh? Come on. Just don't ask me about anything. Anyway, I just need a place to sleep. And I thought maybe you'd let me stay here for a little bit. It's no problem, you know? I mean, we got along fine at the health center, right? Thank you. So then are you going to get back together with Marina? No, Pasha. There is no going back to my old life. Cheers to that. If only I could reconnect with Sasha. Can you go a little faster? I'm going to be late for work. Isn't it too soon to go back to work? You have to be careful with your heart. Yeah, you should be careful about my heart, too. But let's face it, nobody's gonna do their job if I'm not there. I've been on sick leave for two weeks already. They're gonna wreak havoc without me. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. There's a problem at the corporate office. I'll have to go there for a couple of days to help them out. When are you going? Tomorrow. While I'm away, take my watch to the repair shop. But I don't remember where I put the receipt. Check my pockets. Actually, I have to work, too. And do homework with Nadia, unlike you. Why are you talking to me like this? You had enough time with your lover. Fine, I'll do it. Sasha. Hey, Sasha, what are you doing walking away from me? Nothing. I don't want to see you. No, why? Tell me. 
Because you left us and you don't really care about me. That is not true. You are my son. You will always be my son. Always and always. And I will never abandon you. Promise? Absolutely. Sasha, come here. <sighs> I've got to go or Mom is going to be angry. Of course, I'll come tomorrow. We'll go to the movies. Hey, Sasha, I love you, okay? Dad, you really have to come, okay? Of course I will, son. Of course I will. Sasha, get over here right now. Wait here. I told you, if I see you with him again, I will report you to the police for attempting to kidnap a child. There will be witnesses. All right. I agreed to give you the house in the country. Yes? Then we can go see the lawyers tomorrow. I'll see you then. All right then, good. But no monkey business, or you'll never see him. Do you understand? Okay. Bye-bye, dear. Sasha, give me your hand. Sasha, see ya. Bye. Where is this stupid receipt? Hello? No, he's not home. He's out of town on a business trip. Oh, Marat, hey. Good to hear from you. How have you been? Oh, I didn't know. He's the one that's gotten to see you. What do you mean you haven't seen him? I thought he was visiting. No, no, it's okay. Never mind. Bye. Oh, tell Tanya I say hi. Thank you. Excuse me, do you know who this car belongs to? I just, uh, I scratched it a little and I want to talk to the owner. That's very decent of you. You're one of the good ones. Well, it seems like the car belongs to Vera's lover from apartment 32, a respectable man. Uh, does he come here often? It seems he's been going to Vera mm -hmm. since last year. This nice man always comes with icebox cakes and flowers. Looks like he's gonna marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That tramp. Which floor is she on? On the third floor. Come on. Come on, I'll open it for you. This Vera plays music from morning till night. Gosh, I'm tired of it. I can't oh. sleep. She's like a whore. Thank you for your help. Hmm. I'm sorry, but can you please tell me where I can find apartment 32? On the third floor. Oh, you brought me the noodles. Yeah. You have noodles, right? Yeah. That's the food I ordered. I just stepped out for a bit, that's all. And what's your name? It's for Vera, from apartment 32, correct? Yeah, and then it'll be 740. Here you are, keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Hello. I have the food you ordered. Why did it take you so long? I was waiting. Come in.
I'm sorry. There were a lot of orders, so I was running late. How much do I owe you? Are you... Vera Lushkina? Yes. I see. And where's your husband? <clears throat> Hi, darling. Hey. Uh, uh, how did you get here? I, um... <laughs> I decided to surprise you. <laughs> I... I brought noodles. With spicy chicken. <laughs> it's just how you like it. <laughs> Are you crazy? Well, you can eat it off each other. I'm sure you'd like that. You call yourself a taxi. Enjoy your meal. Well, spit it out. Did you talk to her? Yes, you are right. I'm sure that tramp will end up marrying him. Oh. What did I tell you? Why does she have the keys? Why? Maybe he gave them to her to drive the car to the service. Oh, yeah? At least I didn't arrange a rendezvous in front of my daughter. Am I right? I'm not surprised that you have a mistress. I'm surprised at how you behaved. You acted as if you were a saint. Do you think I didn't care? And you made me feel like... like I was garbage. How can you not care if your husband just had a heart attack? Or do you think I made that up as well? No, but you deceived me. I tolerated everything. Insults, humiliation. And you were having fun with this young girl and thought that I'd always be a dumb fool and never find out about it. Yes. Being a husband and wife is not for us. Living the ideal life. You think I don't get that? I do. Do you remember the last time we went anywhere together? When did you ever help me carry bags from the store? Uh, how many times have I mentioned that to you? I've forgotten how many. You're always coming home late at night. You're always coming home tired. You turn yeah, away and snore. Yeah. I'm yes. sick of it. Yes, I turn away and snore because I was really tired. I was tired, my dear, because I work. I make a living. But you don't understand any of that anyway because you think money grows on trees. I don't need your money. Hmm, are you sure? I don't need your money. All right, bravo. I really don't understand how because of your endless work, I have to take on the role of a maid, a housekeeper constantly serving you. I am not a rag doll. I'm a living, breathing woman that, as it turns out, is worth loving. Hmm. So you wanted to be loved, Olga. <sighs> yes, I did. So if you wanted to be loved, why don't you ever talk about love when you go shopping? With my money, huh? Money, 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 money. It's all about money with you. Doesn't it make you feel disgusting, Max? You didn't pick me up on the street, either. <sighs> we don't have anything in common. We don't have anything to talk about. Stop it. I don't want to hear it. You're pissing me off at all that. What did you ever do for love, huh? What have you done? Remember the steaks you burned on the stove, huh? Well, let me tell you a big secret, darling. You're just an extension of the stove. You have turned into it. Panda. Then why don't you go back to your mistress? You think that's fair? Oh, that's not fair? Tell me, what is fair in your opinion? I'll tell you what is fair. I don't love you. You don't love me. This is fair. I do not want to be living with Vera in a one-room apartment. I'm satisfied right here. Come on, why don't you bring your lover here? Let's live together. It'll be fun. I don't mind. You are such a bastard. <clears throat> <sighs> Tomorrow, I'm filing for divorce. Go right ahead. Nadia should be home soon. Find a way to tell her. You tell her yourself. I don't care what you tell her. You get on my nerves, I'm sick of it. <clears throat> she heard everything. 
Well, at least now you won't have to explain anything to her later. Nadia! Nadia. How could he, Mom? I hate him! Honey, your father was unhappy. He might have made some bad decisions, but he loves you. Mom, it's my fault. I know what I did was terrible, but please forgive me. Oh, you too, baby. <coughs> Nadia. Mom, I wasn't going to kill myself. I only drank some of the whiskey and threw the pills out the window. I did it on purpose so that you would break up with Igor. Mom, please forgive me. Oh, honey, you did the best you could. Okay. Yes, and it turned out to be really bad. Why did I have to ruin everything? It's not my destiny to be with Igor. I'm really glad you told me the truth. Thank you. Are you sure? I was so scared. Forgive me. Thank you so much. Aren't you cold? Let's go inside. Mom, I know how to solve it all. I promise I'll do that for you. You'll see, Mom. Where is it? Nadia, come to dinner. Wait, Mom, one second. Ugh. Igor, we need to talk. On my way. You must be Nadia. Yes, and you are Igor? Yeah. I'm the one who texted you. Uh... Mom, someone's here for you! <laughs> uh, well, I'll leave you to talk. I'll be upstairs at Lena's place. I'll be back later. <laughs> Знал, что я